Okay, the last video about the modeling shell in the robot. Uh, let's uh, first of all, uh, I I change the mesh. Um, if you want to change the mesh, here is the button option of the free mesh generation. Then click local mesh deleting. Yeah, I want to delete all of the all of it. Uh, I go for the uh, for. Uh, automatic and number of the division 20 it seems to be a reasonable number then i am starting one more time model generation and we see that uh, the mesh uh, it's enough dense uh, for our task then the second question how we will achieve the trapezoidal or corrugated uh, steel plates on our structure first of all we have to go for the thickness and then if you click new, then here you can type, uh, if you go, by default you have homogeneous, then go for the ultratropic. Then here you have uh, this one by default, but you can go for the trapezoid plate or the corrugated plate. Go for the trapezoid and put here a numbers like you have in your uh, assignment. Here is, uh, remember to change the material. I already did it. Uh, I make the steel T plate uh, for my task, which is uh, height 100 uh, to millimeters thickness, only two millimeters. Imagine how small it is compared to the steel plate, which was uh, made uh, in the um, in the previous uh, uh, exercise. Um, then, Let's uh, go with this uh, um, trapezoidal plate. Let's uh, add it to all of the panel, uh, panels. Click apply. And then I will just check if it's added correctly. It's here. It's <clears throat> two meter, uh, millimeters and uh, 100 millimeters height. So everything is fine. Uh, one more uh, important thing. When you are here in the definition of your trapezoidal plate, be aware of this direction x this direction x it's this direction x it means uh, always check if you have properly make it if you have the green arrow down it will mean that you have uh, rotate your trapezoidal plate 90 degrees uh, so always it should be like that x like that and x like that it's of course depends what you want to model but uh, in my case i want to have this uh, cross section of the shell uh, in this direction okay so we have um, generally made what we have to do if uh, i will just one more time jump to the corrugated plate it's here corrugated plate uh, H 100, A 200 millimeters, thickness 2 millimeters. But right now I will play with the trapezoidal one. And what is the problem? I will go for the uh, analysis uh, properties and nonlinear one and check uh, the properties. It's like it is from uh, get settings from preferences. And we will try to start our calculations. Um, Prob probably it will go pretty smooth through the linear, but it will stop with the non-linear when we have this. Um, yeah, as you can see, the convergency of the task, it's problematic. It don't want to converge uh, to the correct number. Um, it's because your structure is very sensitive and the displacement, if you will check, it's probably like 200 millimeters or more. Uh, it means that uh, it's really, really uh, flexible and it's very hard to find the equilibrium state. Wh how we can manage with this? Um, let it, uh, I, I will run through all of this process, but if you remember the newton raphson if I, for example, uh, go for uh, Newton uh, Ruffs robot, uh, oh, it's already crashed. Uh, no convergency of nonlinear problem. Uh, report of the current stage. Uh, I, I click. Um, do you want to continue? Yes, because I want to show you what is the deformation and where is the problem. Uh, if I go for the SLS deformation, 
and click the deformation. It's 146 millimeters. It's not so bad. Remember how uh, less volume you are using than this 100 millimeters uh, still um, played, and we still have a very close number to to, to that task. So, uh, but it's still for the large displacement. It's a little bit too much. Either you uh, how you can manage with this either you will go for the parameters and you will increase load increment number and by increasing i mean if you go for 5000 maybe it will help also the matrix update after each iteration you should go for it if you want to have more accurate but uh, to be true, I want to speed up this video, so I will just go for the P delta analysis, which also will introduce the uh, increase the deformation and show me uh, bigger actual forces uh, in my structure. And probably P delta analysis will go smoother. I will run calculations. So the secondary effect will be shown. Uh, the bending moments uh, and actual forces uh, will be changed according to the, and you see that it's converging. It needs only five steps and it's converging. Uh, it's uh, so in your uh, task, uh, you can use P delta analysis to check nonlinear effects. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that's generally all. You can go for the results uh, and check uh, all the stuff you want to uh, have. If you, in the task, you have to go for the moments in your structure, use the detailed XX, for example, bending moments, apply to it. And uh, always when you are showing me the numbers, always make a print screen of it to prove me that, um, because it, for, for you creating a print screen will be just five seconds for me, it will take much longer. But here you can uh, also go and total displacement show me. Mm. It's even okay if you make only a print screen with the legend when is the numbers uh, and you can take these numbers from the legend. You don't have to go for the tables. But look how uh, more lighter the structure is, how less volume of the material you are using to create this uh, steel hangar from the trapezoidal shape. It's, remember, two millimeters uh, thickness, so it's really, really thin. Uh, yeah, thank you for that. And um, there will be also a tutorial how to calculate the stuff in Abacus. I hope I will manage to upload it today. Yeah, thank you.